briefly mention the Tunisia protest. There's been protests in Tunisia against police brutality, and I think this is actually a very good development because there's um, Tunisia was the only country that was successful during the Arab Spring, and so Tunisia, you know, needs to continue to be successful. But the police there, they're arresting people for Facebook posts and insults, and they're shooting tear gas at everybody, pepper spraying journalists, taking footage away from journalists. There's protests all over Tunisia, and Kasserin, Sidi Bouzid, B. Zerte, Te Borba, Suse Tunis. This is a leaderless wildcat protest. This is just the nation. They're just pissed off and they're sick. There was a video surfaced that a cop was just harassing the shit out of a shepherd that came out January 15th, and then Siliana, the protest started there, and then they just broke out Kasserin, Sidi Bouzid, Bizerte, Te Burba, Suse, and Tunis. And so, yeah, the insults, you're arresting people. Oh, you insulted me. You wrote a thing on Facebook. So they're arresting everybody, old, young, black, white. And then a cop is harassing a shepherd. Apparently the protest had ended February 4th. There's a curfew, 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. Everybody's got to be inside. But uh, this is a perfect position for Tunisia to engage in a nationwide strike. I can tell you that police brutality is a prevalent problem in America. It's all the way from sea to shining sea, from California to Maine, uh, Alaska. There's, the cops are terrible. Cops are fascists, and they get away with pretty much everything. And it's bullshit. We want good cops. We want good police officers. And so... I want to mention, just tie this into something else, the Mexican government was involved in the migrant killing. There was about 20 migrants who were just murdered in Mexico, and 12 cops had got arrested. This is very close to the U.S.-Mexico border. So migrants are in such a vulnerable position that not only do they have those coyotes or whatever, all those you know, predator criminals that are going to, you know, try to rob them and ship. But you got cops that are going to try to use their vulnerability against them, too. Twelve cops are arrested near the U.S.-Mexico border. So these migrants, I mean, the United States tore, you know, Nicaragua, El Salvador, Guatemala, all these nations, tore them apart, ripped them into pieces, and now you, there's a lot of poverty and crime, and they're running up here, and we're not giving, I mean, this is... The police were involved in killing migrants. 20 migrants? The police were involved? This is ridiculous and sick. So this has happened in Tunisia. It's happening in, in Mexico. It's happening in, it's happening in France. It's happening all over. It's happening all over. So we want good police. And I'm not for sure what the key is. I don't know what the solution is. Defund the police, I think, is a good... Take the money... Use some of it to fight crime, and actually, why don't we have, you know, uh, preventive crime programs. Get people, you know, doing good shit in the community. Use money for mental illness. Use money for homelessness. Use the money that, you know, for the police. Use it for a whole number of, you know, um, drug treatment centers. Civilization is a mile wide, but an inch thick. So we need good cops. So Tunisia, I hope uh, you figure your police brutality situation out. It's a tough, it's a tough nut to crack. Peace.